Valley County Trapper here. How you guys all doing? I uh, just figured I'd jump on and give you guys an update on my trapping. Hopefully you guys all did good trapping this year. 31st, it looks like everything's done, so. Um, but yeah, figured I'd show you guys what I got going on. I got a, uh, I had a bunch of uh, traps that I, um, wolf traps that I'm uh, reboiling. Um, I got to pull all my snares, so, um, I'm on private land, um, I've been out, uh, uh, protecting the ranch, uh, keeping all the wolves away, so, and, uh, we got a bunch more coming through, so, uh, I just got word down south, there's a pack of six, and, uh, like I said, I had one come through, oh, four or five days ago, so, uh, I'm going to make sure everything's 100%. I'm not going to miss them. I've been waiting too long, and I got way too much time and money and effort into this. So um, I'm going to keep them 100%. But I figured I'd show you guys what I got going on here. Got my traps here. I got some MB750s and then the, some Bridgers. And then... Um, some 850 pros in there um these ones i got all shock springed um big anchors on eventually i'll have all my other traps um set up that way so but uh i got about oh uh, i'm guessing i probably got 20 in the ground right now so I, i've just been keeping them going making wax dirt all that good stuff but yeah check it out just went and got another box. Well, I got them a while ago. Um, I bought these. I bought uh, a dozen of these. There's six in a box. Um, I took the other uh, box to donate for the auction for the Idaho Trappers Association. Um, they auctioned them off. And hopefully everybody got a six pack of uh, good wolf traps, in my opinion. Um, you get them set up right and do a little... Uh, tinkering with them I think they work good so but yeah so these are the new ones so hopefully uh right here you can adjust the pan tension on the old ones you couldn't you couldn't adjust it so it was just pretty floppy um I have quite a few of the old ones in the ground um I haven't I catch coyotes in them and uh, the I caught a couple wolves in these but these are really nice right here I can adjust them now keep all the real small critters from uh, fouling up my traps so but yeah I'm gonna get these ones all going um, looks like I'm gonna be just uh, protecting the cows um, for a little bit here and yeah, mostly right now they're starting to calve so um, I seen two or three calves out there, so I'm gonna make sure the uh, wolves stay away. So um, anyway, I figured that was a good update for you guys. Birds are all happy. Finally get out. It's finally nice. It's been pretty shitty last night. It snowed so freaking hard. But anyway, right here I got a, a 55 gallon drum. Um, I cut it in half. I rolled the lips. Uh, just regular water. I'm gonna stick all of my uh, wolf traps in in this in here, and I'm gonna get them boiling. And uh, I put a little bit of uh, bo uh, baking soda in there. That's what kills all the smell, you guys. Um, I think for the wolves, I think they're you know they got a pretty good nose. So um, the more you can do to keep you know your smell and everybody else's smell and um off of the traps i think is better so but yeah i'm gonna get these reboiled and uh i'm gonna uh get them all scent free and i'm gonna go throw them in my tote here i'll go show you guys what i got going on with my tote i put a little pie i got a bag of uh pine shavings 
Um, I throw in the bottom of my bag or in the bottom of my box kind of absorb some of the moisture if anything gets in there and then I put uh, uh, bowels on there so but yeah I just got uh, kind of sucks up all the moisture make sure everything stays dry in this box I throw these in here because the wolves uh, they walk through these all day you know they know what a you know um, pine smells like so uh, if I had a little sagebrush I'd probably throw it in here too they're probably they're used to sagebrush but yeah I got my sliffer I got some uh, de-icer melt real coil some clippers um, ground anchors I use these ground anchors on the wolves uh, if you go back a couple videos um, I like to put a gr I run drags with chains but I also put a ground anchor no, about 16 inches down from the trap. So when they do get caught, I like I like them pinned to the ground. I don't really like giving them a bunch of slack. Uh, just another, you know, excuse to, you know, they got out. So if you can closer, you can keep them to the ground. Uh, without them running, the better. Um, I use these as my first. So if they pull this ground anchor, um, they got a chain and drag. So. Hopefully they don't go any much farther, but but yeah, that's how I do it. Yeah, I'm just getting everything ready and got my bait. In here I got some uh, wax sand, part of a bobcat skeleton from the earlier this year. Finally getting all that crap out of there. Take it out to the bait pile. Anyway, well, March 31st, it looks like it's all done. Uh, water trapping, look, everything's over with. So, uh, if you guys got wolves in your area, you know, look up the uh, private trapping, private land trapping. Uh, gives you a little extra time if you like to go after wolves. So, um, check into that. I'll post them on, on, on up here somewhere or down there or on the page here um the dates uh for private land trapping uh just help uh protecting the ranches so uh keep these wolves away um so yeah valley county trappers here oh hopefully you guys got all that i'm gonna have to go back and look anyway valley county trapper here hopefully you guys are having a good day Welcome back. Oh, it's still boiling traps. It's getting dark out. But, uh, yeah, I just, uh, just finishing up the last batch. Baking soda, boiling water. let these cool off yeah like I said uh, trapping wolves on private land so it's gonna keep me trapping a little bit longer Yep, March 31st, I guess everything's done, you guys. All your beavers, everything. So what do we do now? We protect the cows. But anyway, 
got it all done, so. Starting to get cold out here. Shut this thing down. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys had a good trapping season. And uh, so yeah, um, my furs are at the tannery and, uh, and uh, I got all these traps done. They're all done, but uh, Valley County Trapper here. So I was looking on my YouTube thing. Um, if you're watching this, go ahead and please subscribe. Um, I got some more wolf content coming your guys' way. Um, I'm going to start uh, videoing a lot more checks. So um, you guys will be able to see the line and how I'm keeping it going. And um you know, eight inches of snow last night, and now everything's just melting out. <coughs> Excuse me. But. You guys already making big plans for next year? Hope so. I'm going to take a little more time into my bobcats this next year. This year, I had a couple lines going, and I was getting... I was all over the place, so. But I didn't get it. I didn't hit quite what I wanted on Bobcat, so. Next year, I'll hit them hard again. My ducks. There's my rooster. All my girls, they like to sleep up in the rafters. But. Anyway. Uh, Valley County Trappers here. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you leave a comment, I'll, uh, um, I'll reply to it. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, get everything shut down and uh, I'll get this video uploaded for you guys. And um, you guys have a good night. See you on the next one.